Um, the situation at uh, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plants remains very serious, um, but there has been no significant worsening since yesterday. The current situation at units one, two, and three, whose cores have suffered damage, appears to be relatively stable. Sea water is being injected into all three units using fire extinguishing hoses. But the containment pressures are fluctuating. Uh, military helicopters carried out four water drops over Unit 3. Unit 4 remains a major safety concern. No information is available on the level of the water in the spent fuel. No water temperature indication from the Unit 4 spent fuel pool has been received since March the 14th. Uh, when at that time the temperature was 84 degrees centigrade. And as you will have seen, there is uh, no roof in place. The water levels in the reactor pressure vessels of Unit 5 and 6 have been declining. Concerning radiation monitoring, uh, we are now receiving dose rate information from 47 Japanese cities regularly. This is a very positive development. In Tokyo, there has been no significant change in radiation levels since yesterday. They remain well below levels which are dangerous to human health. As far as on-site radiation levels at the Fukushima Daiichi and Daini nuclear power plants are concerned, we have received no in new information since the last report we gave you yesterday. In some locations, uh, at around 30 kilometers from Fukushima plant, the dose rates rose significantly in the last 24 hours. In one location, from 80 to 170 microsieverts per hour, and in another, from 26 to 95 microsieverts per hour. But this was not the case at all locations at this distance from the plants. Dose rates to the northwest of the nuclear power plants were observed in the range 3 to 170 microsieverts per hour, with the higher levels observed around 30 kilometers from the plant. Dose rates in other directions are in the 1 to 5 microsievert per hour range. Regarding the agency's activities, um, the Director General, who is now on his way to Japan, had another conversation with the United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Uh, the UN Secretary General pledged all possible support for the agency's efforts. The DG also met with executive, the Executive Secretary of the uh, uh, CTBTO, uh, Thibaut Toth, to discuss the possibility of the agency gaining access to data collected by CTBTO <laughs> radionuclide monitoring stations. We believe the additional data and information could assist the agency in our assessment of the evolving situation in Japan. And the DG has written to um, the, the uh, Executive Secretary um, uh, with this request. Finally, uh, a specialist from the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, joined our team in the Incident and Emergency Center earlier this week and is providing expert advice on the possible trajectories of winds from the area of the power plants. Thank you.